Let's get ready to story! Prologue. Life goes on. I've always learned that no matter what, life goes on. Like when I was a sperm, awkward and gangly, not really attractive to those eggs who were looking for that one in a billion sex cell, I latched on to one of my twin brother's flagella and kind of rode him to victory. <laughs> and in seventh grade, my first kiss went so poorly and I knew so little of what to do with my mouth parts that the next week at school, the girl said it was so bad that it would not count as my first kiss. Nevertheless, life goes on, even in the most dire of circumstances. The story, life goes on. There are truths that you earn and some truths that you learn. Life goes on. Me, freshman year of high school, my primary interest, uh, girls and meeting real ones. My freshman English teacher, quoting Frost, what I've learned from life can be summed up in three words. It goes on. Me, posting this in an AOL away message. Uh, footnote, my screen name was Buffman116. Me, later that year, at a church carnival, wearing a double XL Tommy Hilfiger t-shirt, baggy jean shorts, and size 13 Sean Kemp Reeboks, looking like a scarecrow dressed by Eminem. Her, a girl, a real one, with whom I had been flirtatiously instant messaging for the past several weeks. Us, in line for the zipper, a ride that would load and fling its caged in customers two by two. Me, my heart, and my stomach, gurgling with too much funnel cake and soda and awkwardness my jean pockets jingling and jangling with quarters from carnival games played earlier in the day. Us, in the cart too small for my awkward body, going up and up, my stomach gurgling and gurgling. Me, attempting to reach my arm around hers. Me, smacking her in the face accidentally. <laughs> Our cart going up and up, me attempting to gaze into her eyes, her closing her eyes, imagining that I am perhaps Zach Morris, or maybe she was an A.C. Slater girl. Our cart going up and up, my stomach gurgling and gurgling, me wondering when the ride was gonna start. Our ride, excuse me, our cart at its zenith, me going in for the kiss, me, mouth around hers, the ride suddenly jolting into action, me losing the smallest hybrid of soda and funnel cake and awkwardness into her mouth. Me trying desperately to suck it back in. The ride flinging not only us, but quarters from my pockets, piercing us in the head and legs and arms. Epilogue. Me, later that night, having earned three words, life goes on, thank you.